First Amendment auditors, don't let them catch you slipping or you'll be on YouTube forever. Easily Police Chief has resigned. Wait, what? This comes after the city of Easley says they had placed the police chief on administrative leave after he was accused of using a racial slur during a fight. Bad boy, bad boy, what you go to do? The police department says Chief Stan Witten would have stayed on leave until an investigation was complete. My God, thank you so much for the last. My he stomach hurt resigned. so bad. He, of course, then resigned. We're at the Easley Law Enforcement Center. And we just did a stop with Easley and talked to the lieutenant, and he invited us to the station. So we're here. So we'll see what happens. Easley Police. Just getting on your communication. Why? I can see it. Is this public right here? Is this public? Well, I can see it from public. You have to hide it. All of it. So you should tell... Anything I can see from public, I can film. That's the law. You should tell them that they need to rearrange this. They do. But I'm not trying to give you we're a hard trying, time. We're trying to help you out. Are you? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This, y'all should black this out or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. American flag and then the blue line. Look at that. One year later. Everything was turned so you could see it. All the monitors, computers, everything. We told them they needed to black it out or turn everything around. I'm just wondering if they did it. So we're here to find out. They our advice. Well, they kind of blacked it out, but not a whole lot. You still see. Okay. All right. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, how are you? Good. Blessed beyond belief, man. Me too. And you are? Chief, stand with Oh, you're the chief? Well, great. I was just talking to this young lady here. I was here a year, about a year ago, and the glass over here was just like this. Yeah. And I said, you know, you should darken that or right. turn it around. And I see you did that, which is great. Good. But now I was asking her if you have complaint forms. Do I have complaint forms? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a complaint here. What can I help you with? What do you want to complain about? I don't want to complain. Oh. I was asking if you have the forms. Uh, I don't have official forms. So what is your complaint process? She was telling me you, I have to do that and then talk to a sergeant or whatever. It depends what you want to complain on. Well, if it was an officer. Uh, 
then, then I would go to that officer supervisor and go through that the way she described that. Okay, but what I was explaining to her, maybe you could put accommodation forms and complaint forms and FOIA forms out here oh, for the for the public I know but you can come in in, in person oh. I mean that's the law they should be out here I mean that's not the law that they should be out here I'm just saying if you could put them out here for the public that way I could walk in here or anybody could walk in here and wherever you put them and just grab it and go and, and you know take it home fill it out bring it back without feeling intimidated because a lot of people when they want to complain and then they have a, an officer in front of them they get real nervous and you know they feel real intimidated who does the public i've never had anybody that complain on one of my officers ever feel intimidated well it happens not here it happens <laughs> okay i'm just saying if you could put them out here for the public that would be real nice, you know. Okay? okay that's you. that's all. I just want you to consider it. That's it. I'll take it into consideration. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Have a blessed day. You too. And I appreciate you covering that up. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Good job. Thank you. mayor's vehicle I'm just wondering why the mayor's vehicle has lights on it got them up in the window there see it got a permanent tag on it so it is a city vehicle lights down here Oh, bless beyond belief, man. How are you? I'm good. Can we help you? I'm just taking a little tour of the city here today. Oh, yeah. Everybody's been so nice. Have they? Yeah. Well, you need some coffee. Oh, I don't drink coffee. Oh, you don't? Why? I don't like it. I don't. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. Nah, I don't. I don't care for. I mean, what the hell is that brown spot on the end of your nose right there? Did baby Huey stop short or something? Either one. Yeah, and then you are? I'm, I'm asking you who you are. I'm asking you who you are. You work for know. the public, bro. How do you know? <laughs> City mayor. Okay. You know it's that, huh? So what's your name? That don't matter. Oh, it don't? Not till you tell us yours. Well, I, I don't need to tell you mine. I get it. How about throwing him a kiss, Trigger? <laughs> Will you give me a kiss? How about me? Oh, just one? Just give me one kiss. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, God, he sure kisses juicy. <laughs> you gonna get who? Who you gonna get? And what are you going to get him for? Hmm? He's going to get you something. Oh, he is? 
Let's find out what he's going to get. Yeah. Damn, everybody was so nice until you came along. Uh-uh. That's probably because you're beady and over everybody. You make them look uneasy. Oh. Yeah, they think you're from somewhere else. Yeah. So you calling the feelings police on me or no, something? No, I'm a video you. Go ahead. Let's video each other. Alright. So I can't get you good though. I don't care if you video me, man. Okay. That's your first amendment right, See, brother. Sure is. Yeah. So who you calling? To get, get him. Get me? Is that what that means? No, no. Look at Womack, huh? There we go. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question, there, Mayor. Come on. So uh, that vehicle you drive, that a city issued vehicle? Why does it got lights on it? figure he'd answer that man everybody was so nice until he came along so I make you nervous huh that's what he said huh how are you sir I'm good you want a complaint box up here too no sure yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Just make sure you don't. Everybody want to get in off here. Of. Everybody in here was so nice. Good. Good. Until he came along. Okay. So I'm just wondering what the problem is. There's no problem. Then what are you doing here? It's city Hall. I work here. Well, don't you work over in the other building? Sir, I work for the city of Easley. All, all I know that. I mean, what what's your problem, man? Well, you came out like you had a problem. I thought you were breaking in my car. No, I was looking at it. So is that your car or is that a city car? Is that a city issued car? It's the one I'm responsible for. Is it a city car? Yes, sir. Why does the mayor get issued a car? Why does it have lights on it? You don't know. Are those red lights or blue lights? Purple. 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 Like your sunglasses. Oh wow, man! Like, why you gotta be like that, man? Just like your sunglasses. They're purple. They're green. There you go. I've been videoing too. You don't like it when you video me. I don't care if you video me, man. I could care less. He's got a police video on him too. He didn't steal that from the police department, did he? I don't know. A what? A body cam. Body cam. Yeah. Did I steal it from the? This guy is really funny. I mean, I'm just asking. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response. Were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. That is, that, that's a dumb question. Oh yeah. I don't break the law, man. Oh, you don't? No. Do you? 
No, never have. Oh, yeah? Maybe I've heard different. Maybe I've heard different about you. You don't know, have a clue who I am. <laughs> but I squeak. I'm squeaky clean. <laughs> wow. Hey, sir, how are you? Hey, brother. Everything was good until... Walmart came along. Wow. And who are you, sir? What's your name? You work for the public, don't you? You're supposed to identify. Uh, I guess that's the law you know also. You remember you knew laws when you were down at the police department a while ago, and I showed you you didn't know the laws? Uh, no, you, you, you didn't show me nothing. I told you. You didn't show me or tell me nothing. Well, let me remind you, you don't know the laws that you thought you knew. Uh-huh. What law was that? The law that I needed to put forms in my law. I didn't say that was a law. We're in compliance. All I was saying is you should put them out readily available for the public. That's it. Well, unfortunately for you, we don't take advice from you. Because you won't identify yourself who you are, first of all. Well, you covered the window, didn't you? So it wasn't by your, by, by your choice. Oh, I bet it'd still be like that if I hadn't come in uh, and pointed savior. it out to them. You're the savior. You, thank you for doing that for us at the police department. Well, you're quite welcome. Appreciate it. Wow. Everything was going good, man. Till that freaking asshole came out. Uh, let me say, you're That's done. It. Get out. You're done with your language. If you think you're not going to stand in City Hall and cuss, you're going to jail. New information now on an investigation that has the Easley Police Chief on administrative leave. We just received the incident report that has more details about an alleged fight over the weekend at Lake Kiwi involving the chief. WIFF News 4's Peyton Furtado has been working on this story all day. And Peyton, what have you learned in the process? Sydney, we just got this incident report about an hour ago, and according to the Pickens County deputies who responded to this incident, they were called a little uh, about around five o'clock on Saturday to a fight that was blocking traffic right here at this intersection at Lake Kiwi. The report witnesses and those involved said Stan Witten, the off duty police chief, was blocking the road and a truck with a trailer and boat came up behind him and told him to move. A man involved in the fight then said Witten got out of his car, yelled at him, his wife and children children using profanity and calling them racial slurs. This man got out of his car and he along with others started to push Witten. That's when Witten said a man hit him. Other witnesses say no one hit Witten, but he fell after turning around or he was pushed. We also got a 911 call made during this fight. Hey, I need to get somebody at Lake Kiwi. Um, there's been a big fight. I've locked my kids out here who are up here crying. These people are insane. They won't get in their cars. They're holding up traffic. Okay. My, my, my child is hysterical because this chick will not get back in her truck. As deputies interviewed Witten, one said, quote, I did notice a strong smell of alcohol coming from Witten's person and inquired if he had been drinking. Witten stated he had had a few beers. His demeanor throughout the investigation suggested he had had a considerable amount of alcohol. The report went on to say that the deputy asked Witten why he called people uh, behind him racial slurs. The report says he said, quote, because I can. And here are those reports, people. Enjoy. Stan Witten, I pray to God you cannot be a cop in the state of South Carolina ever again. As a matter of fact, in the whole United States. You big drunken dummy. What goes around comes around. Ain't that right, Stan? The man. Your ass needs to be in prison. Along with some other city officials of Easley. People of Easley, you have got to boot. Baby Huey Butch Walmack. Tommy Holcomb, that guy you like to call a city attorney. Oh, isn't he a divorce attorney or something like that? And that building inspector guy. Oh, let's see, isn't his name like Travis? 
Yeah, the one that's dumb as a box of rocks. He gotta go too. And I'm sure there's a few more I'm probably forgetting about. But that's a start. And your fair city will be well on its way in a better way. Yes, Get out. indeedy. Get out. Get out of here. You're done. It's free speech, bro. Okay. Free speech. I'm about to show you free speech. Are you leaving? It's a simple question, sir. Are you, are you leaving? Are you going to arrest me if I don't? Are you leaving? Are you going to arrest me if I don't? <clears throat> That's all I need to know. Yes, sir. You're about to go to jail. All right. I'm out. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. Thank you for violating my rights. Say hello to Jackie for me, Tommy.